Thanksgiving's here, and I already know what I'm thankful for. You know, you can't really use this thing year-round to cut cheese or meatloaf without being that guy. So uh, this year, I'm actually going to take my meat carving skills up a notch. Yes, this Thanksgiving, I'm applying my engineering abilities to ensure that I get the most meat possible out of my turkey. Because if there's one thing I hate, it's all that wasted meat left on a turkey that conventional turkey carving leaves behind on the carcass. So this year, I'm building my own mechanical meat separator out of our washing machine. Does my wife know? Doesn't matter. What's a mechanical meat separator? Well, for those of you unfamiliar with mechanically separated meat, or MSM as I like to say, it was a process developed in the 1960s to recover residual meat attached to the bone that's typically uneconomical to remove. It uses either centrifugal or other pressure principles so that the cellular structure of the material is broken down sufficiently for it to puree from the bone. And who doesn't love a good puree? Now, McDonald's, of course, has made this process famous using its technique for their chicken nuggets and cleverly making happy shapes out of the pureed meat for decades. And they actually fashion these pieces of meat into shapes that we all recognize. The boot, the circle, the arrowhead, and my personal favorite, the tombstone. Kind of like a little meat-based foreshadowing. Now, I've been carefully working, without my wife's knowledge, on getting the washing machine to run up to 10,000 RPM. I've also increased the water pressure and created a method for collecting the pureed meat that's gonna be forced out into the wash bin. And of course, with all that pureed meat, I'm gonna make my own festive Thanksgiving shapes. In honor of Thanksgiving, I've molded a cornucopia, a friendly pilgrim, and as an homage to McDonald's and in keeping with Thanksgiving tradition, an arrowhead. So if the pilgrims would have known how to mechanically separate their meat, there probably wouldn't have been a Thanksgiving. I mean, they wouldn't have needed the Native Americans' help with all that meat left on the bone. And we would have missed out on the most important part of Thanksgiving. Corn, stuffing, and pumpkin pie. And of course, if they would have mechanically separated their meat, there'd be no reason to have one of these.